For a lot of us growing up, I bet it felt like unless we were in the hospital, we were not staying home from class. <laughs> of course, there is too sick for school, and sometimes for moms and dads, that can be a tough call. Dr. Matthew Nassessian is with Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, primary care doctor at Bayshore Pediatrics. Great to see you, Doc. Thank you. Good to be here. All right. Well, that is sometimes a tough situation for parents. You wonder, is my kid just a little off, or is this stay home from school stuff? So let's kind of go through the different things here, and you can help us out. Sure. Uh, can you ever go to school with a fever? So children that have temperatures of 100.4 or, or higher should stay home. That usually means that they're contagious, have some sort of infection. Um, any, any child with a uh, temperature of 100.3 or lower, that's okay. They're Sometimes probably okay a little to mild go to school. fever, just fighting a little something off. Yeah, right? yeah. our threshold usually is 100.4 or higher. Okay. So, um, and if they do have fevers, they should stay home from school until they're fever-free for 24 hours. Okay. Now, obviously, if they're throwing up at the time, you're not sending your kid to school. But you have Correct. some of those weird calls where maybe your kid threw up last night and they say, "I'm fine this morning." Yeah. If it's just if there's one episode of vomiting in a 24-hour period, less likely infection, probably can go to school. If uh, they have two or three or more episodes of vomiting um, in a 24-hour period, then likely infection should stay home, especially if they have fevers. Um, and then you really want to focus on, uh, on hydration, making sure they're getting enough fluids, starting with low amounts of fluids and then uh, kind of going up on the amounts as they're tolerating it. Sometimes you don't know unless they tell you, but what if they're having bathroom issues? Uh, as far as like diarrhea yeah. and stuff? Yeah. yeah. So um, if it's just some looser stools, that's, that's probably okay. They can go to school. If it's more diarrhea, watery, um, if they're having more than a few episodes in a 24-hour period, once again, then I would keep them home. If you notice any blood or mucus mm -hmm. in, that, in that stool, then, um, then they should definitely see their doctor. And once again, focus on hydration if they are having diarrhea. I want to make sure we try to get to these next two. Stomach ache. Are there any you know situations where you where you know it's more serious than others? Usually, if it you know you want to focus if it's in that right lower part of their abdomen where their appendix is, that could be appendicitis. Sure. If their abdomen's a little bit more rigid, um, could be appendicitis or less likely, but sometimes can have a bowel obstruction. Some kids can get really severe constipation that's really painful. But um, if it's just abdominal pain, nothing else, then they probably if it's just mild, they probably can go to school. If um, you know if they if it's along with fevers or vomiting or diarrhea then they should stay home. Some of those cold-like symptoms can be tough. You know, I mean, it, so, sore throat could be a lot of things. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just a little cold. Maybe it's something worse than that. Yep. So with sore throats, you want to focus. Do they have a fever, a headache, stomach ache, and large lymph nodes or glands? That usually can be a sign of strep. So if they have any of those, they should see their doctor. If they are positive for strep, they should be out of school for 24 hours while they're on those, that first set of antibiotics. Um, if it's just a sore throat with like a runny nose, it might be some post-nasal drip. Mm -hmm. And that, they're probably okay to go to school with Suck that. Suck it up and go to school. Exactly. Right. Yep. Let me know how it went. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Doc. Thanks very much. Great advice Thank this you. afternoon. And for more information on this topic, or anything we discuss anytime at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. They've got great online resources. You can get there with a link on our website, tmj4.com.